How would you rank Game of Thrones seasons? Ranking Game of Thrones seasons is a bit like trying to pick your favorite child, if your children were a mix of overachievers and underperformers. Still, let's dive into the often cold, sometimes fiery, but always complex landscape of Westeros. Season 4 takes the Iron Throne in my rankings. Just when you thought the Red Wedding was as gut-wrenching as it could get, this season proved that the game was only getting started. Tyrion's trial, the Battle of Castle Black, and just the general feeling that the series was at its peak. It's a narrative masterpiece. Holding the door for second place is season three, mainly because the show was in full swing, and the Red Wedding was the most shocking moment on television at the time. The intricate storytelling and character arcs were enough to make anyone want to send a raven and tell their friends about it. It's a tie between season one and season six for third place. Season one introduced us to the politics and players in a way that was so fresh and unsparing. It drew you in with a sense of realism rarely seen in fantasy. Season 6, on the other hand, had that wow factor with moments like Hodor's heartbreaking origin story and Cersei's explosive revenge. Season 2 sails in at fourth, continuing to build on the rich foundation of its predecessor. It wasn't as action-packed, but it solidified character development and set the stage for some of the most compelling plot lines in the series. Season 5 is middle of the pack for me. It had its highlights like Hardhome, but some storylines began to feel a bit sluggish. The wheels were turning, but at times the carriage seemed stuck in the mud. Season 7 comes in at a lower rank because, although we got some epic moments, like the loot train attack, the pacing was off. It felt like the show was rushing to set up for the final season, sacrificing the scrupulous storytelling that made it great to begin with. Finally, Season 8 is the last dragon in the procession. Let's be honest, it was divisive and, for many, a letdown. It wasn't all bad, and visually it was stunning, but narrative missteps had fans signing petitions faster than Arya can drop a name from her list. So there you have it. From the frozen north of my Portland, Oregon home, that's my personal and somewhat bittersweet march through the Game of Thrones seasons. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some local craft beer to sip and a Douglas fir to gaze at contemplatively. Winter came, and it left some frostbite. 